going to be showing you and teaching you the fastest way to get to max level, how to get abilities, magics, how to earn fast gold, etc. <laughs> Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy, the Summer Two, and back with another video. I'm going to be remaking my beginner's guide video. When this game first came out, I streamed myself playing this game for the first time. The live stream didn't last very long. I ended up ending the live stream very quickly to record my first ever video on Project X. Official beginner's guide for Project X. As most of you could tell, that was my most successful Project X video and also most rushed Project X video that I uploaded onto my channel. And at the time I recorded and made this video, I didn't know much about the game. And the video only took me 35 minutes to record, edit, render, and upload. It was a rushed video, mainly because I wanted to help new players who are struggling like I was when I first played the game. And I also wanted to be the first YouTuber to upload a beginner's guide video on Project X. Bruh. On today's video, I'm going to be trying my best to provide you new players who are struggling to play the game with as much information as I can. In this video, I'm going to be showing you and teaching you the fastest way to get to max level, how to get abilities, magic, how to earn fast gold, etc. Hopefully after watching this video, you'll be able to play this game knowing what you're doing and probably be able to get to the level I'm at in this game in less than a week. Probably less than a day. I've heard a lot of rumors of people hitting max level in less than a day. But yeah, with that being said, I'm going to start off by showing you guys how to level up fast in this game. Because I know some of you guys are low level and want to get to max level already. So without any further ado, let me make a new account and become a new hop on to project x with that new account i gotta customize my character since it's a new account so i get back to you guys once i finish customizing my character Alrighty, I'm back. Check it out, your boy looking clean. Alright, so I'm about to show you how to level up fast. It's pretty easy, so check it out. Level one. So the first thing that you'll need to do, redeem these two codes. They'll give you 250,000 gold each and 30 minutes of double experience. And once you redeem them, go to the ability shop and purchase gas. It's one of the best powers to farm with. Purchase it. Once you purchase it, Redeem these codes. Don't redeem all of them. Redeem some of them until your mastery hits level 70. Why level 70? Because once you hit level 70, you unlock all your moves for gas. Save the other codes. You might need them in the future. Go to this NBC to get the level 1 quest. Once you get the quest, redeem these codes and then start farming. Look how fast I level up, boys. <laughs> see how fast I got to level 10 all right so once you're level 10 go to this NBC and get the level 10 quest from it and farm these NBCs until you hit level 30 I'll get back to you guys once I hit level 30 I'm walking alone the streets are empty the only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger step by step Clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. We are heroes tonight. Alright, I'm level 30 already. Now I need to leave this out to get the level 30 quest. If you guys end up getting lost in this game, use this map. To get access to this map, click the first link in the description. Join my Discord. We have Project X channels with lots of valuable information, such as the map, Project X Discord, codes, etc. So, like I was saying, I'll need to leave this island and go to this island to get the level 30 quest. So, I'll get back to you guys once I make it to my destination. I need 
need you to listen, I need you to hear And don't show once you make it to this island, go to this NBC and get the level 30 quest and farm this gorilla boss until you hit level 50 or 60. I'll get back to you guys once I hit level 50. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. We are heroes tonight. We will fly above the sky. Once you hit level 50, you gotta go to this island. So I'll get back to you guys once I make it to the island. Alright guys, once you make it to this island, you can either farm these NBCs or the boss. If you're gonna farm the boss, I highly suggest you get a max friend to help you out. If you can't get a max friend, you could totally farm the boss alone and get to max level at the end of the day by yourself. But yeah guys, you got two options in this island, to farm these NBCs or the boss. They both give good XP, but the boss obviously gives more XP and gold. Farm the NBCs or boss until you hit level 125 or 130. Once you hit level 125 or 130, go to the Crane Island and farm in that island until you hit level 205. Then go to the Snow Island and farm in that island until you hit level 280. Then go to the Snow Bandit Island and farm it until you're level 335. Then go to the Goblins Island and farm in that island until you hit level 500, which is max level. Or you could skip all those islands and go straight to Goblin's wow. Island if you got a max friend helping you. The good thing about this game is that you, you killing NPCs gives you a lot of XP and gold. That's why it's not that hard to level up in this game. Since you guys now know how to get to max level, I'm going to be telling you how to get Grimoires, Arrows, and Souls. You can get Grimoires and Arrows from chests if you get lucky or buying them from the shop. I highly suggest you get to max level. Once you're max level, it's really easy to get gold. And yeah, just buy Grimoires and Arrows with gold, you know? That's the easiest way in my opinion. I'll show you where the Grimoires and Arrows shop is later on this video. Grimoires give you custom movesets and Arrows gives you random magic powers. Souls change your race and you could also find Dragon Balls on pillars. Use the map to locate all the pillars in the game. I suggest you use the private server to get Dragon Balls. Dragon Balls are really hard to find for some reason. So use a private server if you're planning to farm Dragon Ball. Once you collect all seven Dragon Balls, you can summon you can summon a dragon. His name is Shinrin, I believe. Shinrin. I don't even know if I pronounce it right. Bruh. With that being said, I'm going to the Market Island, which has the Arrow, Grimoire, Soul, etc. shops. All right, I'm here. Check it out. You can get Grimoires, Arrows, Souls, and even abilities from this island. They recently released Bankai's, and a lot of people are trying to get their mastery to max level, which is level 750. The fastest way to level up your mastery is by farming the goblins. Get the quest of your level requirement for more gold and XP. I think that's about it. If you guys got a better way to get to max level or farm Grimoires, Dragon Balls, let me know in the comment section below. If I missed to mention anything important in this video and someone ends up asking questions in the comment section below and I end up not seeing his question, please reply to him and help him out answer his question, help people out. Um, I really hope I covered everything in this video. I believe I covered all the important topics. I definitely know I didn't cover everything. But yeah, other than that, it's been your boy the Summon to One. I really hope this video helped. If it did, let me know in the comment section below. Peace out.